Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we upload the file by using the Playwright. So I have one URL here, you can see, and there is a choose file option is available. Okay, we can select the file and upload in this uh, button, using this button. Okay, then let's see how we handle this by using the Playwright. So Playwright will provide some functions, APIs. Using that APIs, we can upload the files. So let me create one class. This is upload a test. I create here one main method. Okay, then first of all, we need to create playwright object. Playwright dot create. Okay, then browser object. Playwright dot. So if I want to launch the Chromium browser, so here we need to call the dot Chromium and then launch method. So as by default, it will run on the uh, headless mode, but we can run in headed mode. So we need to set up here the option. Let me import the class. And then we need to set here headed headless pulse next we need to run create the browser object page object browser object is already created now we need to create the page object okay so page object is created now with the help of page first i need to call the navigate method then pass here the url so I'm going to pass this URL here and then we need to upload the file. First of all, we need to capture the locator of this input box. So you can see this is the file, type equal to file, name equal to a file. So we can create the CSS selector by using this name attribute. Copy this attribute uh, X CSS selector and call here the page dot locator. Pass the locator, then dot. We need to call here. So there is a uh, we don't need to call directly here the locator. There is a set file, set input file method. Okay, here first argument we need to pass the locator and second argument we need to pass the file path. So first argument is locator, second we need to pass the path object. Get okay. here we need to provide the fully qualified name of the files which file we want to upload. Okay, so let me first get the, because I want, I'm going to upload this dashboard.png. So let's first get the path of this project. So we can get the path system dot get property. Pass here user dot dir. Okay, this will give us the path of the current project. So here we need to pass the path of the current project plus file dot separator plus file name. So I am I am going to upload this dashboard.png so I can call the dash 
bo.png. So we need to pass the file name here as bo.png. So code is ready now. This code we don't need. So what is the function we need to call? We need to call the function page.set files. It accepts two arguments. One is the locator. And second, we need to give the path, absolute path of the file, which file we want to upload. So let me run. Now test is running. And here you can see dashboard.png file is inserted automatically. Okay, this file. This file is uploaded. So initially when it opens the URL, there will be like this, no file chosen. But when we upload, it upload file, then dashboard.png is inserted there. Let me run again. You can see file is added here. Okay, thanks for watching the video.